My name is Nick Crook and I'm Head of International at Unison, the UK's largest trade union. Unison has been affiliated to and supported the work of Justice for Columbia for many years and we've had the opportunity to join many Justice for Columbia delegations to that country. It was on my first visit to Colombia in 2015 that I had the opportunity to go to Buenaventura. It was there that we as a delegation witnessed firsthand the reality of life in that city. Children playing close to the chop houses where paramilitary groups had dismembered the bodies of community activists only a few months before. The brave women from Child Care Minders Union Sinta Thiholbi fighting for decent conditions for both themselves as work, women workers, but also for the children they care for. And the displaced Afro-Colombian fishing community moved far inland, kilometres away from the sea and their livelihoods to make way for the development of a free trade port. Since then, Buenaventura has never been far from the news, nor our thoughts. Colombia is rich in natural resources, but it's one of the most unequal countries in Latin America. Buenaventura is a glaring example of Colombian inequality. Its citizens have been at the forefront of the battle for access to basic public services such as water, healthcare and education, the kind of public services that Unison members deliver here in the UK. Unison, through our work with Justice for Colombia, has supported the peace process, despite the often one-sided nature of its implementation. Unison remains committed, working in solidarity with trade unions, Afro-Colombian and indigenous groups, and social groups fighting for a more equal and more peaceful for Colombia. Hi, I'm Ian Lavery, Member of Parliament for the Labour Party in Britain, and also the Vice Chairman of the Parliamentary Friends of Colombia Group, which has over 60 MPs from different political parties who are all committed to supporting peace and human rights in Colombia. You know, I went to Colombia in 2014 on a Justice for Colombia delegation. We travelled to Buenaventura, where we visited a local community that had set up a humanitarian zone to protect themselves from the horrendous paramilitary violence in the region. We saw the extreme levels of poverty that people were living in, and we heard the horrific story of the chop houses where under the noses of the Colombian army and the police paramilitaries, they were brutally murdering members of the community. We also saw the inspiring and courageous efforts of the local communities there who had come together to take action to remove paramilitaries from the streets. I have nothing but admiration for what was being achieved under what I can only describe as the most difficult, difficult of circumstances. A real warm greeting to everyone at the event today. The situation in Buenaventura and in Colombia, more generally in terms of human rights abuses and violence, cannot be ignored. Myself and a, a large number of Labour MPs uh, and pays MPs from across the political spectrum from the British Parliament follow closely the events in Colombia and we'll continue to do everything we possibly can to support the full implementation of the peace agreement which we know has huge potential benefits for the people of Colombia and we'll do all we possibly can to continue to pressure our government to make sure it's raising human rights issues with the Colombian authorities. I'll be putting in a, a parliamentary question this week to ask our government what it's doing to support communities in Buenaventura. Uh, best wishes for the event. And I hope to see many of you in Colombia one day very, 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 very soon. Solidarity.